Question 381. Which answer below makes a contract the most valid? A. One party was under duress. B. A contract that is put into writing. C. Consideration in the amount of less than $10. D. One party who lacks legal capacity. Correct answer is B. A contract that is put into writing. Question 382. When may a 17-year-old person sign a valid contract? A. When they don't live with their parents. B. As an orphan with no parents. C. When it is notarized. D. When they are emancipated after a court's approval. Correct answer is D. When they are emancipated after a court's approval. Question 383. Which type of contract is currently in the act of being performed or completed? A. Executed. B. Implied. C. Executory. D. Tentative. Correct answer is C. Executory. Question 384. What is the illegal act of forcing someone to do something against their wishes such as signing a contract? A. Implication. B. Misrepresentation. C. Express fraud. D. Duress. Correct answer is D. Duress. Question 385. Which answer below does not officially terminate a contract or agency relationship? A. Contract term expires. B. Offer or revokes his offer. C. Offer, acceptance, and closing of the deal. D. Death of one party. Correct answer is C. Offer, acceptance, and closing of the deal. Question 386. What is the name of the process when both parties want to terminate the contract before it expires? A. Rescission. B. Revocation. C. Amendment. D. Assignment. Correct answer is a rescission. Question 387. What happens during the assignment of a contract? A. New party takes over all contract liability. B. The assigning party transfers his contract interests to a new party, but remains secondarily liable. C. A contract is terminated. D. The assignee gives back all interests to original assigner before the contract was scheduled to end. Correct answer is B. The assigning party transfers his contract interests to a new party, but remains secondarily liable. Question 388. Which type of contract may be ended by one or both parties due to a defect in the contract? A. Valid contract. B. Voidable contract. C. A legal contract. D. Void contract. Correct answer is B. Voidable contract. Question 389. The statute of frauds requires that A. Some contracts must be bilateral. B. Certain contracts must be written and signed. C. All contracts have a minimum consideration amount. D. All real estate lease contracts must be written. Correct answer is B. Certain contracts must be written and signed. Question 390. What is a financial loss called that a party suffers due to the fact that one party does not fulfill their contractual duties? A. Damages. B. Violation. C. Breach. D. Tort. Correct answer is A. Damages. Question 391. An executed contract is one that is A. Implied. B. Written. C. Signed. D. Both B and C. Correct answer is D. Both B and C. Question 392. What is the law that sets a deadline date for claimants or plaintiffs to file a lawsuit from the date of perceived injury? A. The statute of limitations. B. Judiciary law. C. The statute of fraud. D. The law of contracts. Correct answer is A. The statute of limitations.